welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your ideal lady Eva Soina. So in today's video, I decided to do um, a video on how to make yourself better, how to become a better you, and tips that will always make you grow each and every day. Yeah, so let's get started. So tip number one would always be, I know it's one of the most banal phrases people use around, but here, yeah, believing in yourself is one of the most basic things. Because if you don't believe in yourself, who will? Yeah, so you should always believe despite the history you've had before, despite the occurrences that are happening at the moment, just believe you can make it, just believe you're a goal getter, a pay setter, and everything will just fall into place. Trust me. And on the same point in believing in yourself, always think for yourself. Yeah, I mean, you should always just think for yourself as much as you'll get advice from maybe your peers or maybe other people or maybe anyone who always mentors you first always just think for yourself after that you weigh options is it something worth it should i believe should i trust should... the decisions you make you make them yourself so just think for yourself and always Make sure you're making the right decisions because we are never perfect. But always just believe in yourself. Think for yourself despite all the all and everything that we believe and trust or we rely on. Yes, just believe in yourself. So you should always stop procrastinating. Like when you say you're gonna do something today, not even today, just now. Just do it right right now. If you say that today I'm going to sleep when I've read like five chapters of my book, just make sure you've slept when you've read the five chapters. If you said anything that you've said, instead of saying I'll do it tomorrow or I'll start next week or I'll do it in an year's time, no, don't do that. Just stop procrastinating and do everything you want to do right, right now. Like right now. Yes, so that's tip number two. So let's go to tip number avoid debts like just don't get into debts that's the main thing because the moment you get into debts any money or anything that you'll be getting you'll have to be paying back something that you took kitambo so it won't even make up to anything that you want to do at the moment yeah so just avoid debts debts just make you very very disorganized and you'll be unable to stop getting debts and taking debts all the time no progress, no positive progress. Yeah, so just four, I would actually say it's just try new shit. Okay, try new things. Like just do anything that you can at the moment. If it's swimming, try swimming. If it's skating, it's skating. If it's starting something new, just start right now. Yeah, because you know, you never know. Maybe you never knew you were a swimmer, but because you started swimming, you just automatically become perfect. Or with time, of course, you'll be able to know your likes, your dislikes, your hobbies also. Yeah, they also make you become a better you and they also make you grow. Because what if you maybe tried playing the guitar and you realized, oh, I can do it. What if you realize, ah, I can be a pianist. Yeah, so just try everything you want to do right now and you never know, eventually things may come up and you realize, ah, what I'm doing at the moment is not even as good as what I just started and it definitely is going to have a good end. Yeah, so just start anything, just start something new, try anything that comes up. Don't miss opportunities because you don't want to try, you, you, if you are failing, failing is learning. You just dust yourself up, stand up, move forward. Yeah, never look behind. Don't look at your past, you know. Yeah, just try new things and believe. You can make it and you're gonna be a good, good one. Which will have actually been my first tip will be prayer. Yeah, always believe in prayer. Like before you do anything, just pray. Pray to God, pray to Allah, pray to whoever you believe in. Everybody has his or her own faith. Yeah, so just put God first and everything will eventually fall into place. Yes, so let's go to tip number six. 
actually just uh, I think one of the best tips like you should always save with a goal you know saving just makes you grow and not just saving you save with a purpose you save with a goal like now for example maybe you want to buy something at the end of three months at the end of like six months and sorry for that baby crying i'm telling you this apartment oh my god kids kids all over they're making so much noise i just went on school to the love there yeah i'm not being a hater i was once there but oh man okay so back to my point i was actually talking about yeah saving with a goal just make sure you're saving and you save with the purpose like now maybe you want to buy yourself a laptop yeah so start saving right now at least give yourself a target if it's three months if it's six months if it's a whole year at least you'll be able to organize yourself better yeah if maybe you want to start a short course or something or a, or school like there's so many things you can do but the main thing is saving and there are actually many ways you can save nowadays like even a, a, a simple way will be sure it's on your phone your investor so it's a simple way you can save a fixed accounts in some banks like operative and the like yeah so make sure you you have something fixed if you're not disciplined if you're that person who can save and the next minute you're like oh i'm broke let me just break into what I had just saved into here. Yeah, try fixed accounts. If you're very disciplined, you can buy this. Mm, not exactly the piggy banks, but anything that can store money and you can be disciplined enough not to break it. So, uh, just in case you get broke before you, you've reached your, attain your target. Yeah, it well works best you just choose anything that will really work well for you and the best as long as you just save and just save with a goal save with a purpose yes. last but not least will definitely be investing in yourself yeah you know you always want to grow yourself you always want to make yourself a better you yeah so investing in yourself is actually one of the best things because of course you're promoting growth in your own life so I will actually definitely say that maybe starting up a business will maybe be something really good to help you grow because actually it will also make you disciplined. Like you, you don't have to start with a lot of capital or anything, just start a business and I'll actually be giving you a few tips you should consider before you start a business or a few thoughts that should run through your mind before you start a business yeah and it will be something of course very beneficial because this is something that will make you grow this is something that will always have positive impact in your life yes so let's get started a few tips that you should consider just before you start a business and of course i'll be using my notebook that i showed you in the other video it always makes me become more organized because like now these tips are tips that I just thought about and I thought why not let me put them down then I'll share them with you yeah so tip number one will be a tip you should consider will be what's your level of preparedness yeah like now you will be thinking um am I ready am I am I ready to face the challenges ahead of me am I ready to Am I just ready to accept anything that comes my way, whether the good or the bad? Am I just ready? Yeah, so that's actually a tip you should consider before starting. Another tip will be how much capital do I have? Yeah, you know, excuse me. So depending on businesses, like there are just so many di different businesses that require different capital. There are some businesses you can just start cap uh, with a capital of like 5,000 others a hundred thousand others one million in a bag yeah so depending just ask yourself how much capital do i have yeah and it's a tip you should consider before starting a business yeah so a third tip will be who is on your team yeah so definitely who is on your team will be um if i'm starting a butchery for example which other butcheries around me what do they sell like is it meat only meats for maybe sheep only or cows only or it's all mixed inclusive of chicken 
Yeah, so you also have to look at your competitors. Yeah, you have to compare the business because you are ent you are actually entering to a market that has too much competition. So you have to be ready, and of course you have to research before jumping into that conclusion. Yep. So my fourth tip will be: How strong is your business plan? Before you start a business, you must have a business plan. Have a plan of everything. At least it will make you become organized. It will make you just try to always trying to follow the rules and everything. So, how strong is your business plan? Yeah, that's a factor you should consider. And last but not least, you should consider what business idea do you have in mind? Yep. Apart from the capital being a factor, also, yeah, you should also consider what kind of business do you have in mind am i thinking i should start a car wash am i thinking should i start maybe a salon or a barber shop yeah you should you must have an idea first also before you settle down on the business you want to start yeah so those are the like five few tips that will definitely guide you before you think of starting any kind of business and so i thought uh to add up on this or maybe just give you random random things you can just start up and of course if you find this video interesting you can let me know i can break it down if for example i've said a baba shop i would want to start a baba shop i will actually like break it down for you how much you can have at the beginning how much what necessities you need whether it's the whether it's anything to shave, is it a salon, you need a blow dryer, do you need the dryer? Yeah, so you just, you, you can just comment down below, let me know if I should break it down. So, because I never wanted this video to become very, very long. So I'll just be mentioning random business ideas that come into mind. And you, of course, you can just choose any business idea considering the fact that I've given you five tips you can choose from just before you start your business. Yeah, so let's jump straight in. Yeah, so these are just a few random business ideas that I just took. Yeah, and as I said previously, you can just let me know if you want me to break them down into everything from the capital to the things you expect. I'll definitely do another video. If you let me know, I'll definitely do anything for you guys. Yeah, so um my first okay my first will be starting a video game parlor it will definitely definitely be something nice to consider so another thing you should actually consider would be uh would be french beans farming side hustle yeah anything okay in this modern world like i always look at things things like beauty and farming and anything dealing with food production is always just a plus because when you come and think about it food people must eat like beauty products people must become more prettier and uh, of course people want to look better yes yeah, so it's always a plus side to consider such a business opportunity yeah so that's on food yeah so another tip would be uh, a barber shop business yeah it always works because men out here want to be shaved so you can always consider something like a barber shop and of course a salon because ladies also need to make their hair and uh, yeah you can also consider that so another thing you could also consider would be eucalyptus tree farming business and actually this is a little bit of a long-term investment but definitely it has good results yeah so you, you you can let me know then i'll break them down for you if you want me to yeah also mushroom farming business is another thing you see it's all about either farming beauty yeah it's just revolving around the same circle yes another thing you should also maybe consider will be maybe starting your small perfume business is it an idea yeah it's an idea so you can also consider that you may also consider um, getting yeah maybe starting a career delivery business in kenya yeah why not 
it's also something nice so it's good it's good to invest in it also yeah and also maybe the kiwi farming yeah kiwi farming in kenya also it's a plus you may consider it yep um, should you consider starting a small ornamental fish business in kenya yeah like people want their houses looking nice so maybe you can build ponds fish ponds and they like aquariums and maybe start something another thing you can also actually consider is maybe starting a dog business your love for dogs will definitely bring you bring you money yeah like keep dogs sell them sell the puppies maybe. yeah everything about dogs will definitely also be a plus in uh, in making you grow and invest in yeah so another thing would be a cyber cafe yeah a cyber cafe will also work out because you know as much as people have smartphones there's just that thing you have to go to the cyber maybe to photocopy you have to go to the cyber maybe to browse or anything or to make documents so a cyber cafe would also bring you bring in some money for you yeah, so it's a business opportunity you can actually also consider importing stuff from abroad like you can decide maybe to import clothes or watches and decide to resell them here and definitely you'll get good profits it's a business you can also consider yeah so another thing you could actually consider is maybe starting a small profitable daycare business i'm telling you now, nowadays people are just so busy trying to look for money and trying to invest when they are young so that maybe at that age you are there you want to retire early you know yeah so it's also a, a business opportunity you can consider start a daycare take care of kids like pick them maybe from school and start something like even the, uh, even parents can live there really tiny kids with you and you pick them in the evening of course we just be going to profit and profit and profit this to consider will actually be starting a laundry yeah so your laundry maybe you will include washing people's clothes also at a relatively fair price yeah so instead of like um doing only big things like maybe curtains duvets and carpets and everything you cannot consider why pe uh, people bringing their clothes and you washing them and of course you'll get some profits yes and another business would actually be starting a car wash like you know people always want their cars clean and uh, sparkling clean yeah so it's also a business opportunity you can also consider starting a scholarship and maybe an app about anything about scholarships because you know most of the times like there are so many people who need some help and they need some bursaries also so like you creating maybe an app it will make people aware and maybe that app will consider it, you, them joining through your app yeah them joining through your app and their details and everything and everything like maybe for example like uh, any companies offer, offering scholarships like maybe for example KCB, Equity, Cobill so all the details will be linked there and it's going to be easy for them to be able to get their bursaries and attachments easily yeah so actually that would be also an idea you can consider crocodile, a crocodile farm and a crocodile farm of course and of course you'll get a big bite of the growing demand of crocodiles yeah so definitely that's something you can also consider depending on the amount of capital and the areas that are best suitable for crocodile growth and everything so starting yogurt business will actually be another opportunity on investing your money yeah and making yogurt is not as difficult so you guys must maybe so talk me then I might give you a few tips on how to make yogurt. I actually know how to make yogurt. And definitely, definitely I'm gonna do that video soon. Yeah, so just be patient. Yeah, another business opportunity was actually be snow peas farming in Kenya. So you see it's just all about farming, farming, beauty products and everything. Hey, are you enthusiastic about being outdoor and explore, exploring new horizons? Yeah, why not consider starting maybe hiking services and the camping site? 
factor to consider. Oh yes. Put considering to offer tutored services. Yeah, by that I mean why not maybe look for teachers or something or you yourself be the teacher, teach kids, tutor them into the right way education wise. Uh, spiritual ways and it's also a way you can invest in yeah. the strawberries like people do love strawberries if, if you can also put that in consideration it might work for you yeah so another business opportunity would be bamboo farming bamboo farming is also a plus side in these business opportunities yeah, so why not consider bamboo uh, farming also? Consider the poultry farming. Talk about trailing chicken, the turkeys, kangas, and the lights, even ducks. Like people like ducks to make their compound look more pretty and, and the like. So why not consider poultry farming also? Thank me later. It may be a gym business. Hey, like people are just too cautious nowadays about being physically fit and the like so yeah it's also something you can also put into consideration so actually starting a land buying business will actually be a very lucrative business to start with so because you can actually buy a, lo uh, a lot of land acreage and definitely cut it down into smaller plots which will be more profit yeah so you can actually also consider buying land and selling because land always appreciates so you can never find an incident that you go on a loss so why not try venture into it yes. starting a bookshop will also be an actually another idea that you can consider yeah, considering the fact that there are ebooks and maybe digital magazines or audio books, there are people who would actually still prefer to use the method of just reading the books by yourself. So you venturing into it will probably bring in good business, considering the fact that even kids would love to read story books and uh, school books also. So yeah, it's a business you can actually consider. For the kitchen lovers and people who like baking and, and the like, so why not consider starting up a bakery? Yeah, you can consider making bread, baking bread and cakes and pies and all the sorts of everything, name them. Yeah, so why not consider it as a business venture? Yeah, then attached to food actually you can add to the catering business. Nowadays, like people have too many baby showers, weddings, yeah, all all events, and they don't like cooking the, themselves. So you can start up something really nice, something not disappointing, something that will always offer the best services. You can also consider uh, selling fabrics as a business because you know nowadays most people like making their own outfit designs and everything or you can even consider buying fabrics and selling them to the tailors and it still works the same so you'll still get profit and uh, that's what we are looking at yeah so considering the number of vehicles that have increased within the region and the country as a whole you can actually consider starting up maybe a garage business yeah, like people who want to repair their cars and their cars, vehicles need services. So why not put that in, into consideration? Yes. Yeah, then you can also maybe start up your consultancy. Yeah, it will really work well and it's also a business idea. So why not get into it? Consider pig farming business. It's actually quick money, so you can actually also venture into it. And as a wind up, so as a wind up, let me just rush to a few basic tips. Like, for example, are you good in music? You can also teach music. You can actually teach a craft. Do you know how to knit? Do you know how to sew? It's also a way of making money. And you can actually make and sell foodstuffs, like simple things like making things like french fries and burgers you can actually do and make and it's a profitable business you can you can venture in 
computer and graphic services also. Yeah, you can also sell second-hand books and magazines and clothes also. So there are too many ideas. You can also be a language teacher. At least if you if you consider yourself perfect and learning in learning languages quickly. So you can also consider that as a business. Yeah, you can also be actually a freelance writer also. You can be a dance instructor. Like there are too many businesses. You don't have to start big. You just start with the little that you have at the moment. You can also just review stuff. It's also a way of making money. I can make a make like financial consultant to oh my God. Like there's just so so many things you can do to make money. Actually, even ironing clothes. Like apart from the laundry washing, you can also even iron. Like people know you're that guy. Yeah, you're that guy who puts the clothes into place the right way, man. And uh, maybe a kitchen garden farmer, you can breed pets, as I said before. Like, there's just so many things. Yeah, so I don't want this video to be too long. I think we'll just conclude at a really, really good note in the future. Tips benefit you. And I think that's it for today's video. Be sure to tune in to my next video. Don't forget the rules. One, be good to do good lots of love peace and see you in the next video